now the latest on January 31st around the wide world of HyperWorld. Here's your Hyper Weather Bulletin. Typhoon Julong is currently rapidly intensifying in the tropical West Pacific and Chris is also intensifying today as it ventures into the Coral Sea. These are the two active storms, 9 and 10, that have formed so far this year. No systems are active elsewhere in the world, not even an invest to speak of, just those two uh, intensifying storms as said. Geelong has been intensifying for pretty much the whole of the last 24 hours. It was a tropical storm last time we were looking at it on the video. Uh, it has really rapidly intensified in the last few hours and more could be on the way there and Chris also likely to reach category 2 status in the next 12 hours. Here is a look at Chris because we still can't look at Geelong yet because the map's not properly configured. 90 miles per hour, pressure 974 millibars, 305 miles from Ilia in Vanuatu. 15.3 south, 162.1 east. Expected to become a category 2 shortly in the Coral Sea and then it will move probably a sort of straight line movement but there is some uncertainty about that towards the coast of Queensland where it could make landfall at near category 2 intensity uh, probably hurricane strength and then moving inland by Tuesday here is the latest look at that storm it's uh, rather broad now um, although this is quite a bit of a close-up you can't even see the islands there uh, sea surface temperatures are very uh, fairly high uh, water vapor very high around this system, but wind shear will probably be pegging it back over the next few days. Here's a look at Geelong then. You can see this rapid intensification phase in what is a somewhat broad system as well. You can see some of those Micronesian islands that the storm is just side swiping right now on the uh, eastern side there. Conditions are pretty tremendous ahead of this system by the looks of things. Sea surface temperatures expected to get to 30 degrees Celsius. Wind shear is going to be mostly low, meaning that we are now predicting a Category 5 out of this early season storm, which is currently 125 miles per hour. So here we are, as of January 31st, still no systems in the Atlantic, East Pacific or Central Pacific. Well, what did you expect? Um, and last day of the month, so that's great. Uh, and moving on to the next basin, Julong there, Haruka would be the next name on the list here, and North Indian Ocean will be seeing Biman. You can uh, check the website now. We do have uh, updating Hypo Earth uh, graphics in the same format as the normal uh, Cyclone Tracker graphics. Um, you can go to force13.com forward slash interactive forward slash Hypo Earth Cyclone Tracker. There it is. <laughs>